Hey guys, it's like 7.30 in the morning. I'm about to finally take this thing on its little shakedown run. This will be the first time I've wheeled it since like, I don't know, around July, maybe earlier. Uh, so I've not even used the mudding tires, the new transfer case, the 44s, the lockers, any of that. So I'm gonna take it easy and probably do some stock trails today if the uh, stock groups aren't too crowded. And if they are, I'll do mod. I just wanna kinda take it easy because like I said, it's more of a shakedown run. I want to start testing some things out and hopefully not break anything. So I'm going to bring you along with me. Well, already I'll tell you my first mistake was not wearing a jacket this early in the morning with all the windows out. We're going to, I'm going to be driving two hours to where I'm going to off road and it's probably like 60 this morning. It felt great when I woke up and I didn't think about it until I just started driving down the highway. Burr. I got about 50 minutes left in the drive. It's finally starting to warm up, so that's nice. For those of you who have ever wondered what Ohio looks like, uh, here's a pretty good example.
Okay, so we've got a little bit of a late start today because our trail leaders, a few of them didn't make it for various reasons. Uh, everyone's got personal lives, so no hard feelings. But we had to wait for someone to come to lead the trails, basically, because most of these people are new today. So we finally got out here. It's going to be hard to get a lot of footage since a lot of Later, the Rude. It's working. Since a lot of the trail leaders didn't... Check. Since a lot of the trail leaders didn't show up today, we're running really big groups, so it's going to be kind of hard to get footage for a lot of it. So it's just going to be a lot of just trail riding and uh, outside the Jeep stuff. We've got a variation of Jeeps today too, so that's kind of nice. But I, I just ran stock trails, so nothing crazy. Just some deeper mud holes and nothing too much because I didn't want to beat the Jeep up too much on its first day back on the road. But it is beautiful weather out today. It's probably in the 70s right now, and most of these trails are shaded and next to water, so it's cooler, even, even cooler there. So I'm loving it. It's a good time. The only downside is the two hour drive there and the two Everybody hour drive. Everybody out on the blacktop. Two hour drive home. Now it's also a good time to say, hey, if you aren't subscribed and you're watching the videos, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel if you like and comment as well. So. No pressure. I appreciate everything you guys do and I appreciate you watching. What is it? What? What's your Instagram? I forgot. It's right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't deserve it. Where is it? Oh.
Oh, manual. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite easy. It's easy. It's the manuals that scare the shit out of me. Come on, you can do it. A few more inches, a few more inches. All right, you're on the ledge. There you go, you're about to come down. All right, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're doing so good. I'm so proud of you, Andrew. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Take that thing off some jumps. I wanted to get more of people coming down that waterfall. There's always some scrapage, and it, it looks a little cooler. You get a little more flex that way but I got caught up guiding people down. We have a ton of new people today and I just wanted to give them my attention so they felt comfortable. I'll let you guys ride inside with me for a minute. So far the Jeep's performing great. It's a little squeakier than I remember, but who knows why that is. New shocks, new springs, new everything. Some things are probably still settling in, so hopefully some of the squeakiness will go away, but <laughs> it's not the uh, worst thing in the world. Nothing's broken yet, nothing terrible's happened. Uh, I, I'm enjoying it. It's been a pretty slow day on the stock trails as we got a decent sized group. Like I said, a lot of new people, so we're taking our time today. sticks and stuff will mostly get caught. Obviously you still have the upper area, but it's not much worse than having a window down. But you can lean out, and especially in a two door, like a TJ like this, I can lean out and I can see my front tire, I can see my front bumper, I can look backwards, I can We're see up. my back tire. Like it, it gives me a great field of vision, so I can watch rocks that are getting real close to my tires and stuff, and I can just thread the needle. like that.
pretty cool trails, especially if you're just starting to get into off-roading. There's not a whole lot in Ohio, so you gotta make do with it. It can get a little repetitive after a while, so I don't come here too often because I don't wanna get burnt out on it. Plus the drive, it's four hours of drive time for me. But it is beautiful down here. It's, it's very nice. Uh, you can get a lot of ticks out here in the woods, so that's another reason sometimes I don't come around as much, but this is pretty much the best Ohio has to offer, other than I think one off-roading park. Take a look at this view. over so it's just Andrew and I left we're airing back up our tires and reconnecting our sway bars and uh, yeah it's a pretty successful day using my onboard air compressor to air my tires back up this is the single cylinder ARB one and it's filling it back up uh, 35 inch tires it took about two minutes from 15 psi back up to 30 so not too bad I even got the fancy digital ARB gauge to air back up with Jeep all washed up. You always in every good off-roading trip with cleaning the Jeep back up because it's easier to deal with when it's fresh. And then later on, it's just a hassle and you don't want to drag that mess back to your garage. If you guys made it this far, thanks for watching. Be sure to go check out my other content. I have a ridiculous amount of Jeep TJ content. If you see anything on my Jeep that you like, then most likely I have a do-it-yourself install video on my channel. So be sure to go check that out.